It's the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Logan, and I'm here giving y'all this review to this newest Lil Yachty project called Lil Boat 3. Uh, now, most of y'all should know who Lil Yachty is. You know, he blew up a Lil Boat 1. Um, he's been working ever since then. You know, he had the hit Minnesota, which I actually enjoy that track. I think Lil Boat 1 is actually not even a bad project. It has a lot of um, downsides to it and cons to it, but I think it's an overall solid project. And again, Minnesota is definitely a banger. It's a hit. I enjoy it. Um... That being said, ever since then, Yachty has just not done anything good. <laughs> I mean, he has some hits here and there. Of course, I really enjoyed the song I Spy. I enjoy that song more for Kyle than Lil Yachty, though. Sometimes I even skip his part. Um, but, again, he has some he has some good bits. He put out the single for this, um, Oprah's Bank Account, and I think that's a banger. I'll talk about that later as we're going through a little bit of the track list. But, yeah, he has a super unique sound. But despite that, he still manages to have a generic sound too. Like he, I don't know anyone that specifically sounded like him before him. Even though his voice is kind of annoying, you know, it's kind of kind of kind of got that whiny feeling to it whenever he's going with that auto tune crooning mess. Um, but yeah, he still has a generic sound. He still chooses not to use his unique sound all the time, and sometimes just go with some generic trap um, auto crooning and stuff like that. Um, he's definitely not the best when it comes to that. And then on top of that, of course, we all know he's extremely corny. Um, again, going back to his auto-tune, that can just get super old whenever he's using it all the time. Uh, so it's good whenever he takes a break from that, too, and does something different. Um, now, the upside to him is that he has access to big artists, being that he is a big artist himself. He is relatively pretty large and famous. So he has access to some big artists for some um, features, which, honestly, on a project like this, that's what you're going to look forward to. No one's... Not nah, I me. Mean, I don't know anyone that's coming to a Lil Yachty project and saying, man, I can't wait to hear what he's coming out with. No, you're, you're going to it saying, man, I hope he has some bangers and he has some good features. That's what you're looking for, usually. Uh, so if I'm going to co go with the pros, again, you know, he has the ability to come with at least one solid hit. That's just a fun vibe. You know, you already got that with Oprah's bank account, but you got to look for um, other songs that could fit that mold as well on this project. So that's pretty solid. And again, the other stuff I've mentioned, the artists that he has access to and stuff like that. Now as for the cons of this project, the constant overuse of autotune, obviously, um, that comes to mind how generic it can get at times. There's just a bunch of songs that sound the exact same where either he's overusing the autotune and he's crooning way too much and it just gets annoying or he does the exact opposite of that, doesn't use his autotune and it just sounds like a generic trap rap song. I mean, like, he's not that great of a rapper so you want him to use the autotune but whenever he uses it too much, it's like he needs to find a good middle ground there and... um he just hasn't found that yet. And I think the prob the, the reason why that becomes a problem is because this is so long. Um, like I said, it's 19 songs in 53 minutes. If this was a 30-minute project, I wouldn't get that tired of hearing his auto-tune. Or vice versa, I wouldn't get that tired of hearing his rapping. Now, again, his rapping is very, very generic. And it doesn't stand out at all. There are many artists who rap like him, but better. So if I was going to get any project, I'd want it to be auto-tune, little Yachty, sound heavy. Um, but if he could cut this down to like... 30, 20 minutes, you could get solid enjoyment. Just take the best tracks. Um, and th that's what he needs to do because 50 minutes, you're he, he's going to be stretching. You know, you're going to get tired of the same sound and then whenever he does his other sound, it's just not as good. So uh, he's got to find that middle ground wherever he cuts the length down. Um, now going through this project, I'm just going to talk about the features because those are the main standout tracks anyways. Uh, you got TD with Tierra Whack. Tyler the Creator and ASAP Rocky and I mean just look at the features there you already know you should be excited for this track it's a solid track it's got an interesting beat that does get very repetitive um, and could get annoying if it wasn't for the fact that it allows for some aggressive rapping from the um, all four of the artists on here um, you know Rocky and Tyler they both come through and give very solid verses verses that they're very capable of giving um, nothing crazy that you've never heard before, but I mean, you know, you know these two artists. And then Tierra comes out of nowhere, and she low key gives the best verse on the track. I mean, like she was really good. Of course, she's still fit in that same mold of an aggressive, um, aggressive flow over the beat. Um, but she really performed well. And then even Yachty lets go of his auto tune a little bit and comes with some aggressive rapping that I thought worked pretty well for this track. So overall, this was a very solid track that I found it to be a true positive. Um, and after that comes Pardon Me with Future. 
Uh, and this one has a very solid bass line, which allows both artists to flow over it very well. Again, generic sounding, yes. Um, Yachty, again, drops most, if not all, of his auto-tune for some trap rapping. Um, that sounds pretty decent. Um, you know, it's a decent verse. And then Future, while not as dominant as he was on High Off Life, still gives us a pretty solid verse. But overall, I mean, this is, this is okay. I mean, it's it's all right. It's an all right track. Um, I'm not coming back to this one. No, I, it was enjoyable, though. It was enjoyable. After that, Oprah's Bank Account, y'all know about that track. Um, Drake and DaBaby on it. Y'all heard that song. Solid, chill vibe that fits Yachty and Drake's sound very well. The actual standout here is, though, DaBaby. And the reason why he stands out is not for a positive reason. He does not fit this song at all. Um, this song is more for the chill, like, summer, um, outside tanning by the pool, driving with the windows down and, you know, the sun's setting type of you know, top off the Jeep type of vibe. And DaBaby comes with a little bit more of an aggressive flow that just does not work for this track, honestly. Um, not that it's bad or anything, it just it didn't fit. Uh, but you already knew that if you've heard this song, so I'm not going to go too deep into that. Still a, a solid track. If you can cut out that DaBaby verse, be really good. Um, after that comes Range Rover Sports Truck with a little keyed. No, <laughs> just don't go back to this song ever. Don't you don't you don't even have to listen to it the first time. It's bad. Uh, they use high pitched voices. That gets very annoying. The repetitiveness is there on the beat and the bars. I mean, nothing about this song is um, brings it any redemption. It, it's a pretty bad track altogether. Um, then the last track with a feature, uh, "Till the Morning" with Young Thug and a little Dirk. Uh, and obviously, I enjoy Thug, and he sounds pretty good on here. Uh, he definitely helps to alleviate and normalize Yachty's sound a little bit because Yachty does get a little bit annoying on this track. Um, but whenever um, Thug is crooning, you're like, okay, okay. You know, their, their sounds kind of sounds kind of work together. So you're enjoying that. And then Dirk doesn't do anything to stand out, but he gives a pretty decent verse. You know, he's just straight rapping. Um, fortunately, he's staying away from the auto crooning because, my God, he gets annoying when he does that. So if he had done that, that would have just erased everything that Young Thug did on his verse to... Um, make the song so overall it's a pretty solid track not one that i'm going back to again but pretty solid altogether um so i'm going to talk about overall this album it's what you should expect going into a little yachty project especially once you see the length of it uh, you know there's going to be some decent tracks um and you know there's going to be a lot of generic tracks and a couple of just garbage tracks i mean this is nowhere near as good as little boat one but it is i think better than little boat two because little boat two was really bad um but yeah, overall, I mean, I went into it expecting to find two or three tracks that I enjoyed already knowing Rofus Rank Account was going to be one of those. And the rest of it, I thought I was either going to skip or hate. And that's what happened. There were less songs that I hated than I thought I would, which is a good thing. That helps. But overall, there's just a lot of skips on this one. The only songs that I'm really coming out and saying I might go back to those is TD, obviously. Uh, pardon me. You know, 50-50 eh, on that one. And then Oprah's Bank Account, as I already said. Um, so yeah, overall... What do you think about this project going into it? That's probably what, what you're going to think going out of it. Um, now for my rating, uh, it should be pretty obvious by this point what I'm thinking, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Anyways, I am giving this one a Skip City 3.5 out of 10. Yeah, it, it probably could have um, probably could have been forgettable, um, if not for the three good tracks. So... If it just had a, a little, like, if the tracks weren't memorable, you know, if they weren't enjoyable, if I weren't saying, you know, oh, they're pretty good tracks, I'll probably go back to them, this would have been a forgettable album because the rest of it is forgettable. The rest of it you skip, the rest of it you don't care about, and you're never going to think about again. But those three tracks, I I could see me going back to those. So for that reason, I could remember this project and could not call it a forgettable project. Therefore, 19 tracks, three songs I enjoyed, very Skip City. Um, all together, that's all I got to say about this one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment, sub, hit the bell next to my name for notifications, share this video so your friends can check it out. I appreciate y'all watching and I will hit y'all up next time.